Good afternoon, church, and happy Monday, Thursday. My name is Tim Hood, and I'm one of the pastors here at Concord. That Thursday night of Holy Week was a night that would have been incredibly familiar to Jesus and his disciples. In fact, Jesus said as they sat down to eat, I've longed to share this meal with you. It's a meal that for generation upon generation upon generation, the Israelites had celebrated as a commemoration of God's grace and mercy, his favor to them, really when they needed it most. You see, there is a scarlet thread that runs through Scripture, beginning in Genesis and going all the way to the life of Christ and his ascension. And that scarlet thread probably glows most crimson in the story of Passover. You see, the nation of Israel had been enslaved in bondage in Egypt for hundreds of years. I'm sure many believed that God had forgotten them, but he had not. And as he was getting ready to deliver the nation of Israel from the Egyptians, a command came through the prophet Moses, that great leader of Israel, that the nation was to gather in their homes and celebrate this last final meal in the land of Egypt. Every bit of this meal was significant. Every bit of this meal had symbolism of God's grace and mercy to them, but there was no symbol greater than the lamb, the Passover lamb, the lamb that they would share as part of a meal, but whose blood would be put over the doorpost and the mantle of the home. And when the angel of death passed over the land, he would pass over the homes where blood was over the doorpost. Every Jew knew that story. Every member of the nation of Israel knew God's favor to them. So the disciples would have known that too. And undoubtedly, this Thursday Passover meal would have been what they believed was the beginning of great festivity, but they didn't know what Jesus knew. He knew he would get up from that table. He knew that he would leave that meal and go into the Garden of Gethsemane. He would plead with God the Father, if there's any way for this cup to pass from me, let it, but not my will, but yours be done, he prayed, in agony and in anguish. But there was no other way. Jesus was and is our Passover lamb, and he drank the full cup of God's wrath toward sin for you and for me. He would leave that garden and be tried. He would be crucified, and he would rise again. Sitting at that table with his friends, Jesus knew all that was coming. He knew everything that he was about to do. He knew the grace and mercy and deliverance that was coming. He knew that he was the Passover lamb. So as they shared that meal together, it took on new significance. It took on new meaning. Paul captures that moment this way in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23. He says, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night in which he was betrayed, took the bread. And when he had, when he had given thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples and he said, this is my body, which is broken for you. Yes, it was broken for his disciples, but it was broken for you too. And it was broken for me. In the same way, he took the cup, the fruit of the vine, the juice, the wine. And he said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Receive this, take this, drink this, and remember me. Though the bread and, and the wine were only symbolic of the body of Christ being broken and the blood of Christ being shed, the picture that Jesus was painting for his disciples and the truth that must rest in our hearts too is that he did all of that for you. He did all of that for me. His body was broken. His blood was shed so that he might restore us in right relationship to God. And Paul continues in verse 26, he says, as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes again. And church, he is coming again. One day the trumpet of God will sound and the dead in Christ will rise first and we will all be transformed because we will see him as he is and we will live with him forever. Those who believe on his name because his body was broken because his blood was shed, because he became for you and for me our great Passover lamb. Father, thank you that you loved us so much that you sent Jesus to live, 
to die, to rise again, so that we might be in right relationship with you, so that he might take our sin and give us his life, so that he might be for us our Passover lamb. It is in his mighty name that we pray. Amen.